book fooled by randomness. Mm -hmm. um, now, and, and I'm going to preface this with, I haven't finished it. I, I intend to finish it on my, on my flight back. Uh, but so far it's a, it's a fantastic read. And like what I'm hearing here in, at the CG mastermind just echoes exactly what this book talks about. And you know, the, the book talks about basically like things are more like chance, luck, all these things are more random than we think. Um, in fact, every, it, it is all completely random. Um, and how like mild success is like, you, you can explain that by skill and hard work, but wild success is almost completely explained by just variance and chance. Huh. So, yeah. So, so <laughs> you know, the, the, the scenario would be like, you take a dentist and, you know, no matter where that dentist lives, um, you know, what, you know, he has, you know, barring, you know, that he has decent insurance, like <laughs> it, you, you take his life a thousand times in a thousand different possible variances. They're not, it's not going to vary too much. Like he's still going to be a dentist. He's still going to be above average wealth. Um, you know, the life is going to be fairly stable across a thousand occurrences. You take an entrepreneur and do that same uh, logic experiment with the the variance is way bigger so you know and and that variance is is way bigger because there's more randomness associated with an entrepreneurial's lifestyle because you can make a good sound choice because you're making it with fact-facing data you can make a good sound choice but it's not the right choice for that time frame and you know and there's not, like nothing you can do about it or you can make a seemingly poor choice but the timing is just perfect for it <laughs> and, it, and it explodes I, mean, <clears throat> yeah. I was i was overhearing some guys talk about uh they're like man yeah i had this you know i did this flip on a quad and i sold it i don't know a, a, you know two years back or whatever it was it's like i made like a, a 60 60k profit on it but if i would have held it i would have made a hundred and thirty thousand dollar profit today um so hindsight hindsight like they made the best choice at that moment with the data that they had. It wasn't the best choice, but they did. You, you can't know that. Right. So, you know, so we, uh, you know, it, it's just, uh, I, I think we all need that reminder that, you know, um, there is far more like far more chance and, and luck involved. Like you can like, you know, they, they say like, you know, luck favors the prepared, yeah, but but being prepared doesn't dictate the amount of luck that you get. That's like, true. So so yeah, you can you can be prepared and, and be a complete failure. It it, it happens. That's uh, right. So so you know it's just it's it's a really interesting uh, interesting read when you when you start uh, going through through all of this and and realize like um, uh, I'm going to read you a, a quote from it that I, I wanted to pull up. Uh, let me see here. Sorry, trying to. Um, da, da, da. Well, while I'm looking for that, uh, okay. Um, fooled by randomness. Yeah, fooled, so, one of the things that like we, like the the logical brain, like mine, wants to go to. I'm not going to be fooled by randomness. I'm going to use logic and deduction for everything, and that's completely wrong and false. Like one of the things that he says is like, uh, emotions are lubricants of reason. Um, we actually need to feel things to make decisions. Um, so emotions give us energy and they are actually critical to life in the day to day world. In other words, the goal here is not to become a robot who can analyze everything with perfect logic because you can't, um, you know, there's, so, you know, it, it just, it touches on all these different pieces. Like you, we want to minimize the amount of randomness occurrences in our, in our business. Um, being an entrepreneur, you can, you can do things to minimize that coming to collective genius or masterminds like that is one of them. That's how Wendy, Bill and I try to, you know, reduce the amount of random actions in our right. business by coming to places that are sounding boards and we can utilize people's failures and people's successes to help That's us. Right create ours. Yeah. And make mm -hmm. better decisions. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> for yeah. sure. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm looking forward to reading that. I'm going to do that. 